we are gonna fall, we are gonna fall, we are gonna fall. OMG, we are gonna fall. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Keso and you're watching Keso Designs, the channel which brings you all the automotive information, DIY mods, car reviews, bike reviews, product reviews and also some quick tips and hacks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. So guys, today's video is not gonna be any other video, but today I'm gonna do a vlog because I'm going to Malvern. You know what is Malvern? It's my native place and it is approximately 500 kilometers away from here. So it's gonna be a long long road trip and I'm gonna vlog it each and every moment which is necessary and we are just gonna have fun so first before getting ready what i need to do is some packing so let's see what we got damn there's such a big mess over here and the worst thing is i'll have to pack this all by myself holy mother of god how the hell am i gonna do this man shit man it's gonna take really very very long in my most favorite things that are the ribbon collection goggles seriously guys I love these goggles they are so amazing wherever I go I take them with me and then there are these my provoke watch then my camera watch my custom watch and then last but not the least my pride and honor the G-Shock G340 gold I love this watch guys I seriously love this watch By the time I'm done with my packing, I decided why not say a final goodbye to my dear pet Lola because at last she's gonna be alone by herself till we return. So bye bye Lola. I really really miss her so so much. Damn, I wish I could have taken her with me but unfortunately she can't come. I really really miss her very very much. I love you Lola. It was really very long but yet we have completed with our packing. Just look at the luggage we have got. I have got my Sony tripod too because even if I go to Malwan, I am gonna make videos there too. <laughs> I am finally done with packing. So what I need to do is first before I get ready I gotta take my brother because he is gonna bring his car. And it's almost 12 a.m. right now and we had to actually leave the house at 8 p.m. or something. So it's damn late. You can understand, right? So he's going to bring his car and I'm going to go pick him up. What's it? Let's go. Guys, can you imagine, me and my dad are standing right beneath a bridge. I mean, you guys can see, right? There are cars coming from both the directions. See? There are cars here, cars there, cars everywhere. And we are standing right beneath a bridge waiting for my brother. I don't know when he's gonna come, man. Eventually, my brother called us and he said that we passed right by him. I mean, what the hell? He could have called us right at that moment, but no. We just stood beneath the bridge waiting for my brother from half an hour. Anyways, now that we know where he is, oh see see see, I see him, I see him, the guy in the blue, <laughs> that's my brother. Finally we found him guys, finally we found him. Just look at the car he's brought, it's a Toyota Qualys. If I get the time, I'll do it. Now that we have found him, it's time to get back home. So, let's go.
After playing one hour of hide and seek with my brother, we are finally back home and we have brought his car too. And the car is a Toyota Qualys. And believe me guys, the car is so smooth, I fell in love with her. Seriously. And if I get the chance, I'll do a review too. So stay tuned for that. So, since everything is now set up and sorted, it's time to get ready. So, let's get started. Boom! I'm all set and ready. So it's time to get started. But without actually getting on the road, we have to pick up a member. I'll tell you who she is when we meet her. Alright? Till then, see ya. Taking a reverse in a car as big as this is always a challenge for a driver. But I know my brother can do it because he's a really, really good driver. See, my brother managed it. He took reverse in this Toyota Qualys. So, it's time to get on the road. Finally, we're on to our journey. Hey, wait, wait, wait for me, wait for me. Before we start our journey, we are at my sister's house to pick up her and her mother because they are coming with us too. And also we are refreshing ourselves with a cup of tea. So, I'm gonna enjoy my tea right now and see you guys in a bit. See ya. So, after refreshing ourselves with a cup of tea, we finally began our journey at 3.51 a.m. As it's 3.51 a.m. right now, it's gonna take us by 4 p.m. or something to reach Malawi. So it's gonna be a long, long 12 hours of ride. And as you guys can see, it's raining really very heavy. So the nature is not with us too. <laughs> but yet, it will be fun if it rains. So let's see what the nature's got and what's the journey ahead of us. I'll see you guys in a bit. We are about to leave Mumbai very very soon and see there are trucks surrounding us from every direction there's a truck here there's a truck there oh no I see traffic I see traffic I just hope we don't get stuck in traffic for too long because it's gonna really suck up our time really really bad so fingers crossed that we don't get stuck in the traffic for too long Guys, you gotta have a look over here. The road is fully packed with trucks and buses. And my brother over here, he's just showing off his driving skills in front of us. <laughs> we are making our way right from the left side of the road and doing a bit of an off-roading session over here. You can see, right? You see, we are just making our way through the traffic. Believe me, guys, it's too much fun. <laughs> Guys, just have a look. It's raining really, very, very heavily. I mean, by the time we were in Mumbai, it wasn't raining that much. But as soon as we left Mumbai, the rain is getting heavier minute by minute. You guys can see, right? The wipers are not getting any slower. I hope the rain gets a bit slow. <laughs> Otherwise, we are screwed. 
hey guys have a look over here my brother over here is following the second rule that i mentioned in the video on 10 tips on how to drive safe in rain as soon as it started raining heavily and the visibility was just getting very very awful what my brother did was he turned on his tail lights not only my brother but also the cars around us are having their tail lights on so that's the rule as soon as it starts raining heavily and the visibility is just awful and you can't see anything you should turn on your tail lights After hours and hours and hours of searching, we finally found a gas station over here. Actually what happened was, we did find a gas station earlier, but unfortunately, the gas station was out of fuel. So, we were very unfortunate over there. We had our bad luck going on. So, we were lucky that we found this one. So, it's time to fill this car up and let's see how much it costs us. It's zero right now and it will begin in a moment. It's past 20, 30s, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It's past 150, 200's crossed. It took us 2,505 rupees to fill up this Toyota Collis to its maximum limit with fuel. Now it's time to get back to our journey. It's 6.14 a.m. already and we realize that it's morning. I mean, just look at those clouds, guys. There are dark clouds all over us. All over us, guys. OMG. I guess it's gonna rain really, really, very heavy right now. Oh, God, save us from that rain, please. You know what, guys? You see that mountain over there? Our car is gonna go up of that mountain in a few minutes. Now, you guys just have a look over there. Have a look at the mountain. It's so foggy out there. There's fog everywhere. It's gonna be foggy all the way up to the mountain. Now, I'm worried about my brother driving the car. I hope he drives well. You see that lineup of the trucks and cars over there? Do you see that? You see that CC? There it is. There it is. You see that lining up of cars and trucks over there? Holy moly, guys. I think we are gonna get stuck in traffic for really, really long. I hope we don't get stuck, but as a matter of fact, we are gonna get stuck. Damn. I guess my prediction was right. We are stuck in traffic right now. I hope it clears out very soon. A long, long, long journey. We have finally took a halt to have some breakfast. So, let's have some. Guys, we ordered India's one of the favorite breakfast dishes. That is the missile pav. Finally, after so much hours of driving and traveling, we finally took a halt and now there is something going into our stomachs right here finally guys finally after we were done with missile pav we ordered some tea to freshen ourselves up so it's time for me to freshen myself up so i'll see you guys in a bit and we are completely filled up right now and we are back on track to continue our journey towards malwa so let's continue have a look over here guys this road is so beautiful seriously guys seriously just have a look this road is just amazing and the clouds the contrast it's creating in the sky it's damn beautiful damn seriously oh my god i'm in love with the scene man i'm just loving what i'm seeing right now it's so amazing guys just wait for a second and have a look out here it's so beautiful out there. There's greenery everywhere. There are trees on the left, there's greenery on the right, and the road in between, man. And on top of it, it's raining. So it's a great weather to drive your car from. 
damn guys it's so beautiful i'm in love with this weather and this scenery guys seriously We are passing by some of the farming lands over here guys. Now have a look. Whenever I look upon these farming lands, I always wonder what kind of a hardworking farmer would it be? Seriously guys, it's really easy to think that it is a piece of cake to farm. But no guys, it's not even a bit of what we think. Damn guys, these farmers do need a salute for this. Seriously guys, seriously. Hey guys, have a look. There's a lake. You see it, right? There's a lake on the left of me. It's a bit muddy due to the rain, but yet yeah, it is awesome, doesn't it? It really looks awesome. And see, there's a bridge on it too. Damn, I hope we can go on that bridge. I guess we are gonna go up on that bridge. If we go up on that bridge, it's gonna be awesome because there will be a lake on both the sides of us and the bridge in between. And we are gonna go up over there and ride on the bridge. Damn, it will be awesome. Can't wait to go over there. Just see how beautiful the lake is. Damn. There's a lot of scenic beauty over here, isn't it? Hell yeah. Let's go, brother. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, we are gonna go up there. Yes, we are gonna go up there. Hell yeah. Finally, we are up on the bridge and there is leg on both the sides. It's beautiful. Have a look over here, guys. There are trees on the left and the right that are merging on the top and forming a tunnel and the car is passing right through it, guys. I mean, guys, seriously, this is so beautiful, guys. This is so beautiful. I mean, this is what we call nature at its best. Seriously guys, I'm in love with this weather and in love with this nature, seriously. And as we pass this road, we are going to be on the Gagan Bahura Ghat, which is one of the dangerous ghats to drive through while going towards Malwan. My family tells me many have died driving on that ghat. Now let's see what it is. Guys, we have finally entered the Gagan Bahura Ghat, which is the most dangerous ghat, guys. Now just have a look. The road is so much foggy and it's so hard to see the car in front of you guys. And just have a look guys, it's such a narrow road guys, it's such a narrow road. And remember guys, there can be any kind of car or even a bus that can be coming from the other side towards you. So this is not a joke guys, this is damn, damn dangerous guys. And even if a car tumbles or loses control, it's gonna go and fall 390 feet to the bottom of the ghat guys. So this is not a joke guys. Believe me when I'm telling you guys, this ghat is really, really dangerous. This is even challenging my brother who is such a good driver guys, seriously. The cliffs on the left are so steep guys, so steep, believe me. Oh, we are gonna fall, we are gonna fall, we are gonna fall. Oh my God guys, that was damn scary guys, that was damn scary. I mean seriously guys, I really thought we were gonna fall guys, really. I mean damn guys, this is the most dangerous ghat I've ever ridden guys. Seriously, this ghat is not a joke guys, it's not a joke. I mean seriously, there isn't any kind of railing or anything at the edge of the road to stop us from falling guys. If we fall, we are gonna go down to the bottom of the ghat in no time guys. Seriously guys, believe me when I'm telling you, seriously. <laughs> Hey guys, we have finally reached Malwan, but there is one small problem. Today is actually the next day. That means what happened yesterday is, we started our journey at 4 a.m. or something and we expected it to end by 4 p.m. But what actually happened is, we reached Malwan at 10 p.m. So guys, you can understand, the journey which was expected to be of 12 hours actually turned out to be of 18 hours guys. So you can imagine how exhausted we were, right? Not actually exhausted, but what happened is, when we were on the ex um, this express highway, the thing what happened is, <laughs> our tire just went boom, and we got a flat. Then what we had to do is <laughs> replace the tire with a spare, then repair the tire, and then put it on back on the car. So it was damn, damn late at that moment, and it took a long, long time. So. 
overall the journey was really really amazing because we were surrounded by nature scenic beauty and also it was quite adventurous in gagan bawda ghat because we actually faced a situation of life and death i wasn't faking that one guys we really thought that we were going to fall guys seriously that ghat is seriously dangerous guys seriously but in all the journey was really really amazing anyways i'll have to wrap up my vlog, uh, vlog right now so that's all for today hope to see you in the next video if you have liked the video please do like comment share and subscribe and if you want to subscribe just click on the button over here and don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you can get notified each and every time i upload a new video so guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then this is keso signing off see ya